Okay, look how early it is. The sun is just coming up. The sun will come out tomorrow. It's already tomorrow. It's early. Well, good morning. Uh, it's very early. I showed you the sun. Today is St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? Oh, today is March 17th. It's Friday. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's 32 degrees. I think it's supposed to go up to 37. I just dropped Josh off at work or work at school. I don't know if I just told you that, but if I didn't, I'm telling you again. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, give you a fun fact about myself. I um, I consider myself at like 65 to 70 percent Irish. My mother was a mix of everything, but my father's parents came from Ireland, and um, their name in Ireland was Fanion, F-A-N-I-O-N, which they changed to Mannion, M-A-N-I-O-N, and. Um, Somewhere along the line, I think it was at Ellis Island, but don't quote me because I'm not sure. They changed it to Manning, M-A-N-N-I-N-G, which is my maiden name. So, um, my grandfather, I don't have a lot of memories of him. He died when I was very young. And uh, I do kind of remember he had a little bit of an Irish accent. My grandmother, not so much, I didn't think. But, you know, who's to know? But, uh... I, um, her name was Catherine. My my uh, grandfather's name was Dennis. Typical Irish names. And I'm going to insert a picture of my brother Mike, Michael, we call him, and his son Mike. Um, my father adored St. Patrick's Day. He would uh, he had a hat with all kinds of buttons on it. I have a button that I'm going to wear today in memory of my father. Well, actually, two buttons that were my dad's that, that we took off his hat. Mike got the hat with the majority of the buttons, but we each took some buttons. And uh, my dad would, he would start early and then he would celebrate his day and that was his day. So I kind of like to honor my father's uh, memory and, you know, like enjoy the day. I don't drink, but uh, my brother, I'm sure, is already hitting the bar <laughs> in honor of it. My other brother, Patrick, uh, oh my gosh, Patrick and Michael, could you get any more Irish names? Um, Denise was named after my grandfather, Dennis. And um, I don't know where I got my name from. Who's to know? But, uh, and then Mary, it's Catherine Mary. That's another Irish name. So we kind of uh, really celebrate the fact that we're Irish. We really do. We love it. So um, I'm going to think of my dad a lot today I just know it and I'm sure that uh, if my brother posts any pictures today I'll include those too this one's from uh, a couple years ago but um, Michael and Sue had like orange hair it was their hair was so red it was orange and Denise's hair was white she had like she was a towhead and uh, Mary's hair was always light. I always had dark hair. And it was kind of funny because when we moved into the, uh, our first house had caught, our house, original house had caught on fire, which Mary had set, and it burned to the ground. And a memory of my father's is he was carrying out the stuff that was paid for and putting it out on the front lawn. And somebody was walking by and they said to him, oh my gosh, is your house on fire? And he said, hell no, we're having a barbecue. I always remember that. So, and then uh, somebody I remember parked in front of the fire hydrant, and I remember when the uh, firemen came, they um, they took their axe and they broke out both of the guys' windows and strung the hose through the hot, through the car. <laughs> you know, you can't really claim a problem with that if that if you're at fault with that. So uh, we had to live with different um, relatives. Because uh, we had bought, my parents had bought a new home, but they weren't ready to move into it yet. So we had to, like, move around. With six kids, it's kind of hard to keep you all together. And then um, when they started school, they went to Catholic school, St. Brendan's, another Irish school. And um, the colors were green and white. And there was no room in the class for the grade I was in. So I had to go to the public school. 
and whenever we would go like for any activity at the school since I didn't my hair was so dark and everybody else's was either white or red they uh, assumed that I was my father's daughter from a previous marriage <laughs> so I never got the I never got to go to the Catholic school with my brothers and sisters. I never really went to school with my brothers and sisters ever, really, now that I think about it. Because, uh, no, I take that back. <coughs> I went to, when I was in grade school, I went to Guardian Angels in Detroit. And uh, Michael went, too. It was the two of us. And, the, and Sue, the three of us. Because I went there till the fourth grade. And then we moved and... Uh, that's when there was no room for me in the end. So, um, anyway, anyway, as they say. So I'm getting here pretty close to getting home, and I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to stay on track. I, I did pretty good yesterday. I had, you know, like I had the spaghetti, but I figured it into my points. So I want to be really good today because tomorrow's weigh-in day, and you know, I want to. At least stay the same. I have really, really been struggling lately. Really, really bad. And uh, next week's supposed to be really nice weather. We're supposed to get snow tomorrow. So my plan is on Monday to start walking again because uh, that's how I lose weight. If I don't exercise, I don't lose weight and I get discouraged. And I'm telling you, this is my year. I keep telling you, 2017, the year of Sandy. I have to get back on track. So, um, I am definitely going to get back on track, and I'm going to get going on my dieting, because uh, at this point, I can't just call it a, a plan, I have to call it a diet, because um, if I'm just calling it a plan, I'm not doing anything, so I uh, guess that's about it for now, so um, I will talk to you guys in a little bit, well, at least when I show you my breakfast. Okay, my second stop driving today is bringing Kylie to school. She has art and uh, gym today. So, uh, that'll be it for till I pick up Alyssa. Okay, I had to stop and get David some uh, hair cream, which I think is funny. I got to show you. It's Elvis Presley. David's never heard of him. <laughs> I asked him, I said, do you know who Delvis Presley is? And he says, no, he doesn't need the guy that makes the hair cream. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Uh, I'm going to go home and eat now. Um, I figured out I had to drive Josh to school. I had to drive Kylie to school. I have to pick Alyssa up from school, and I have to drive David to work. So I'm like an Uber driver today. <laughs> Let's go eat, because I'm getting hungry. Okay, now this is a little bit more normal but you know my body's taking a while to get used to this daylight savings time when it was 212 my body was still telling me it was 112 but i've been up since six o'clock this morning so i'm hungry now um we we're making fun of um danny because he pretty much brings the same lunch every day and i was making the most fun of him and look at me i have the same breakfast i have no room to talk but anyway um i started my day with a prayer um, I've drank 32 ounces of water, and I told you I'm struggling, and so my quote is, just because you failed once doesn't mean you're going to always fail, and I agree with that. Got to get back on that horse. So I'm having a lighter breakfast than I normally have. Um, I have an egg for two points, a cup of Cheerios for three, my tea and water is zero, my banana is zero, my grapefruit is zero, and I'm having a dry piece of toast. I'm not even wasting points on jelly or butter. So it's three points, so it's eight points total. I have 30 points for dinner. And um, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. Here comes Alyssa. Slowly but surely. Okay, it's time for dinner. It's Friday. I am Catholic, which means no meat. So my usual Friday night dinner during Lent is a salad, iced tea and water. I put the wrong, I did it from yesterday because remember yesterday had spaghetti, but I already wrote it down in here. So um, yesterday I had 29 points, but I think I had 30 today. So just a point, point difference. But neither here nor there, I only spent 20 points for my dinner. My salad was zero, an ounce of mozzarella cheese was two points, 
An ounce of provolone cheese was four points. Two tablespoons of my poppy seed dressing was six points. Um, I have a half an ounce of um, croutons, which was two points. A half a cup of cottage cheese, which is three points. An ounce of feta cheese, which is three points. A lot of cheese, I've told you in the past, I've been a rat in my other life, I think. No, not a rat, a mouse. Uh, tea and water. Um, I do have a sprinkling of cheddar cheese, which I didn't count, but um, I still had 10 points, and I know that's not 10 points worth of cheese. So I, after I eat this, I'll be done for the night, eating-wise. So um, I feel pretty safe in the little bit of cheese I put on there. Well, guess what? I couldn't finish my salad. I think I only ate half of it. And you know why? Because the phone rang, I went to answer it. I want to hold it here while because I, I sit in this chair while I eat and watch TV. Not good. I should sit at the table, but I sit here and watch TV. And I was eat. I would want to do it, and I was going like this with the phone, and it fell out and hit my plate, and the plate broke in three pieces. So I didn't want to eat the salad because I was afraid there'd be glass in there, and that was the last of the salad. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. Bite the bullet and just be content with what I ate. It was a big salad anyhow, so at least I ate half of it before I was foolish enough to drop the phone. And now I'm one plate down. Okay. I'm going to finish watching my show. Okay, that's about it for tonight. Um, I'm hoping to stay the same tomorrow. I really haven't been that good this week, so... To hope for a loss is asking too much, but uh, I'm back on track. I really am. I, uh, I've had enough of this foolishness. It's time to get down to business. Um, I have no excuses. I have to get back on track, so like this video. I know there's not much to like, but like this video. <laughs> Subscribe, comment. Um, I finally figured out, I, could, I think I caught up with all my comments. And um, you know, share. It's, a, it's just a day in my life. I don't know how interesting it can be, but, you know, that's, that's what I do. So, happy St. Patrick's Day, and to my father up in heaven. <laughs>